Hey everyone, here's a new video. This is now demonstrating um, another method that I've been thinking about using the net install module of Calamari to save time when installing NVIDIA drivers and other things. Um, obviously it also cuts down my workload because it can be installed directly through the installer. And so that is what I'm going to showcase here. We now have the packages selection down here. And I deliberately put this after this section, just before the summary. So you can set your base system up first, go through all of the normal things you would do, and get your user in there. Now let's just put a nice secure password in there. <laughs> and now we get to this section here. So we can use the net install. I'm going to install the drivers and as you can see that installs the latest NVIDIA settings and NVIDIA utils. You also support for the legacy drivers for older NVIDIA hardware. Um, you also got the option to install the CUDA toolkit which DaVinci Resolve, Blender and other mm, 3D applications can take benefit of for NVIDIA cards obviously and the AMD and Intel microcode if you so wish. So if I go next now, there's the summary. Let's install it. Uh, this doesn't take very long now as the, um, the compression has been changed to the Z standard so things are a lot quicker now at installing. On metal or on my particular rig, it takes just under four minutes. In a VM, it should be pretty similar because it's running on my hardware obviously maybe a little bit longer. Um, the only caveat with this is obviously you do need an internet connection for this to work because it's downloading those packages directly. So if you don't have internet, then this won't work. So this will be optional, I suppose, initially. So I am going to upload these ISOs. I'm building XFCE after this video and I will upload both of the ISOs and I'll put them in a 20.2 net install so you have the option then you can either go with this install method or you can do the traditional method and use the instructions as before and as you can see the um, the notes change log has been removed from Calamari because there's no need for it now because we have a, the packages module or the net install module enabled now so I think this is the way I'm going to take salient um, obviously, as a, a side note, this also gives me an opportunity, depending on user feedback, because many of you like the fact that their, you know, Discord, Telegram, um, things like that on the multimedia, Audacity, OBS Studio, Simple Screen Recorder, these things are already pre-installed. Many of you enjoy that because it saves you the effort of having to do it certain utilities, Grub Customizer and things like that already in. Some of you don't like that. Some of you like a more minimalist approach. So I'm going to be experimenting with a minimal ISO with a, a large package selection so that you can choose what you want to install rather than being forced to have what I include. But then that changes the paradigm of salient by doing that because the whole point of salient was to cater for multimedia creative um, creative individuals and gamers alike it was like a, a three-in-one type of deal and i don't really want to detract from that but i do appreciate that you know the iso size is quite big so i, I may look at that depending on user feedback so this is just about done okay that's done let's do a quick shut down start job on the display mode nice okay there we go let's remove the iso and boot back in a few seconds to initialize on first boot but there we go right 
Let's log in and we'll see if the NVIDIA drivers, drivers have been installed, which I, know, I already know they have. One thing I'm going to do is switch menus quickly and then go back again because there's a little rendering issue where these top three icons don't get rendered in. They are there, but they just don't get rendered in. So just changing the menus and swapping back fixes it. But there you go, lost and found. The NVIDIA settings are there. So the drivers are installed. So everything's there now. And the other thing is I've now swapped out Olive because it's um, curated from GitHub. Uh, I don't think it's fair on the end user to have to recompile Olive every time there's an update because it can be quite lengthy depending on your hardware. On my hardware it takes about three minutes but on other people's hardware that could extend into considerably longer. So Caden Live is back in. Um, if you want Olive it's very easy to install it. Um, but that's the only other minor change that has occurred. So as you can see that's successful. The net install module is a, is a, a way forward I believe. So now we can install the NVIDIA drivers without messing around in the terminal, which is much better. And we don't need a, a separate application to install drivers. It can all be done at install point. So there we go. That's it for this video. That's just to showcase the net install method, um, which can easily be expanded to include, as I said, the other applications and utilities. So depending on um, feedback I may go down that road and experiment with a more minimal ISO and let the end user choose the packages they want. Uh, another thing I've added is Stacer, as some of you requested Stacer, so that's now included out of the box, if some of you like that. Um, so there you go, it's there, HTOP is still there obviously, as a more minimal um, system monitor. So that's it for this video, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one.